what's going on ladies and gentlemen today we are going to be redoing my desk setup we're going to be looking at a couple of little things to kind of add and move around one of those little things or not so little things is my new ultra wide monitor from gigabyte this thing is gonna be a beauty i can't wait to throw it all in there and see what's up what's the deal with this ultra wide stuff I can't wait to throw this guy into the setup and get a real feel for that true ultra wide experience. This is also going to be the first monitor I have that is 4K, 144 hertz refresh rate, and one millisecond response time. So that is going to help gaming so much. <laughs> Maybe I won't suck as bad. We'll see. I probably still will. So let's go ahead and start with the box itself. Let's check out the monitor. So. As always, we're gonna do this in the most ridiculous way possible. <laughs> this is a big ass box that's holding a big ass monitor. Let's go ahead and take it out real quick. Struggles for days, okay. This is going horribly. Woohoo! It wouldn't be one of these unboxing videos if I didn't throw the thing, right? And yeah. Here's the beauty. Holy shit. Woo! He's got some weight. <laughs> Ultra wide. And there she is. The Ultra wide from Gigabyte. Now I will most likely mount this thing to the wall. The same way that the other ones are mounted, uh, but I'll have to see how that's actually going to play out. And I'm still debating whether or not I want the ultra wide and then kind of how I have the setup there with another monitor on the side. Both on the side, we'll have to see. That's a beautiful monitor and I can't wait to plug it in and turn everything on. But first, we got to tackle the desk itself. We're gonna start cleaning this desk up, and getting it ready for the new monitor. Let's do it. So I guess the next step is to, of course, shut everything off. And we gotta uninstall these monitors, unplug everything from the back of the computer. And then we'll most likely have to just kind of redo a little bit of our cable management, seeing all that. Oh, also, so the other big thing that I'm gonna to need to do right now is that I have a lot of my peripherals plugged into these monitors. Uh, these are awesome monitors from Dell. They have the USB ports all over them. There's like five USB ports in each one. So they help a lot. But the Gigabyte monitor that I'm switching over to, the ultra wide, I don't think has any USB ports, which isn't a huge deal. Definitely not a deal breaker, but I'm gonna need something to plug all those things into. So I went ahead and got a USB power bank. Okay, very easy. Something we're most likely gonna mount it under the desk. We'll have all the peripherals plugged into that and then we'll just kind of take it from there as we go. So let's go ahead and just shut all this stuff off and start taking it apart. So this is where the old monitor mounts were. I'm pretty sure I can reuse those holes. That first one is center enough where I can use it for the ultra wide. But I'm not sure if that one's gonna be far enough for me to put another monitor on the side if I want to. So we'll have to see. I might have to cover that up and paint that later anyway. But for right now, this one here in the middle should work just fine for the ultra wide. All right, back to it. I hate cable management. I hate it. So 
so it took a bit of doing but I think I've got all these cables pretty much good ready to go at this point everything is tidy as it can be for now uh, I'll most likely staple some of these loose ones here just to make sure that they stay up but yeah not bad let's keep her going So that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh my god, but I finally got it. Look at that. Beautiful. Damn, that is a lot of space. And it still doesn't take up as much of the desk as I thought. So I'll probably still try and sneak in one of the monitors. Most likely on the left side. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear as we go along. But damn, that is nice. But yeah, we don't have this big mess to clean up. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and plug everything in and we'll see what we get next. So we've got both monitors on now. I've got the ultra wide and then the 25 inch right there. I'm looking at it and it kind of makes me want to get another 25 inch and put it on the other side. We'll see. That might be overkill, but I mean, that, that's kind of the only way I do at this point. So with all that craziness out of the way, after that last little bit of cable management, the finishing touch is gonna be to throw in these guys here these are some hexagon lights from Colo Light, and they're gonna make a nice little addition right above the setup to kind of give it that finishing touch. Alright, so it looks like we got just about everything done at this point. The monitors are installed, all the cables are hidden, I've got the lights set up. We're going to turn everything on here in just a little bit, but there's one last thing we need to do. So a friend and I custom made this desktop so that we could have a nice long desk without breaking the bank. We built this ourselves out of a couple of 2x6s I believe. Nice and thin. Okay doesn't weigh too much I was able to reinforce it with this leg I got here from Amazon Ooh, there's a loose cable that's gonna be for the other monitor I'll go back under here in just a little bit so when I got this I was following the IKEA hack method uh, I finally got a chance to actually go to IKEA there's not one anywhere near me so last time I went to Arizona to visit some family and friends I was able to get these Alex drawers which are awesome I'll go over them with you guys a little bit later as far as what I've got in them but I had everything ready in the specifications for these drawers before I even got them so at the bottom of the desk itself as you can see we took some MDF cut it to just about the same size as the drawers and had up them there to be kind of like a buffer a bumper to keep the desk just at the right height where we needed it to be now 
the thing that I was going to do when I first put this whole thing together but never got around to was that I'm actually going to drill from the inside of the drawer into the MDF to secure the entire desk to the Alex drawer. Now what that's going to do is it's going to provide one more thing of stability for the entire desk. It's going to keep it from shifting forward and backward, which happens a lot when I'm simply leaning forward or even put any kind of weight on the desk. It'll just slide the entire thing. So we don't want that. <laughs> I need everything here in one place. So that's going to be one of the last things we do here today is drilling into the MDF from the Alex drawers, getting everything as lined up as possible. And then I'll give you guys the full tour. Let's drill. Alrighty, ladies and germs, that just about does it. So everything is set up the way it should be. Everything's cleaned. All the cables are managed. The floor is vacuumed. Beautiful. The Alex drawers are now perfectly secure to the rest of the desk. I don't have to worry about the entire thing shifting or moving. If I put any kind of weight on it, glorious. We're just going to add a couple little finishing touches. The first thing we want to note to get those seals of approval. I already see it's off. Let's get this bad boy aligned. There you go. That already looks much better. We try and get that symmetry. We'll get Ed's approval. And then our little nod to Mr. Random Frank P. Every setup needs a little bit of green. Bam. Let's turn her on and let's see what she's got. <laughs> this was a long, long way to end the night, but well worth it. Guys, as the battery is starting to die on this camera, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping things up now. I appreciate you all coming along in this journey with me. It was a lot of fun, a lot of headaches. We got it to work, and that's what's important. Until next time, later.